Hello friends, this video on the fundamental unit of life part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us go ahead with the next cell organelle that is Golgi apparatus. So let us see what is Golgi apparatus and what does it do. So this uh, particular cell organelle was named after a scientist Camilo Golgi who first described it. So he was the first one to describe this cell organelle and thereafter it was known as Golgi apparatus. So something which was described by Golgi. Interesting, right? So it is again a network of membrane bound vesicles which are arranged parallel to each other in stacks called cisterns. So this is also a network of membrane bound vesicles. So what are vesicles? Vesicles are you can say uh, some sacs, some vessels containing something right. So you can call them as vesicles. So it was a network of membrane bound vesicles which are arranged parallel to each other in stacks and those stacks are known as cisterns. You might be thinking what is it? I am not able to understand right. Look at this figure then you will get a better understanding. So this is how a Golgi apparatus looks like. So if you see, they are arranged parallelly. So if you see this line and this line, they are arranged parallelly. So what is this line actually? It is a network of membrane bound vesicles. So these are all the vesicles. If you see this small vessel like structure, you can see, right? So this is a transport vesicle. So similarly, everything inside this are small, small vesicles which are all connected to each other and they give rise to a structure like this. And they are arranged in such a way that they are arranged in parallel stacks. So you can see these parallel stacks. So these parallel stacks are known as cisterns. Right? Now they are generally located near nucleus in animal cells. Okay? In plant cells, they are freely distributed and in plant cells, Golgi apparatus is known as dictyosomes. Okay, so that means their appearance are a little different in plant cells than in animal cells. So in animal cells, again, it is similar to endoplasmic reticulum. That means it will be located somewhere nearby to the nucleus. But in case of plant cells, it can be scattered in any part and they are known as dictyosomes. So Golgi apparatus in plant cells are called dictyosomes. Correct? Okay, so let us have a look at Golgi apparatus in animal cells. So these are the Golgi vesicles or Golgi apparatus. See here you can see. So these are all arranged in parallel stacks, right? In the middle if you see they are all parallel to each other. So this is Golgi apparatus and it is located somewhere near, near to the nucleus. This blue line represents the nuclear membrane. So just outside the nucleus you have the rough endoplasmic reticulum here. Then you have the smooth endoplasmic reticulum here and you have the Golgi apparatus here. So all these things are located near to the nucleus. Now let us look at the Golgi apparatus in animal cells. I'm sorry, in plant cells. So this is a typo error. It is not animal cells. It is a plant cell. So Golgi apparatus in a plant cell. Where is the Golgi apparatus here? So here if you see, this are the Golgi apparatus. So this is the Golgi apparatus and these are the Golgi vesicles. So here the vesicles are arranged here and there. I mean it is not on a specific place. Right. So here we have a Golgi body but it is not necessary that it will always be at a specific location and it will always be near to the nucleus. In plant bodies it can be scattered like this also in the form of Golgi vesicles. Right. Okay. So now let us look at the significance of Golgi apparatus. What is the purpose of the presence of a Golgi apparatus inside a cell? Materials manufactured in endoplasmic reticulum is dispatched to various parts inside or outside the cell through Golgi apparatus. Now first before this, first answer me what are the materials that are manufactured in endoplasmic reticulum? What are these materials? Rough endoplasmic reticulum has ribosomes on its surface and ribosomes manufacture proteins, right? What else is manufactured by endoplasmic reticulum? The smooth endoplasmic reticulum will manufacture lipids and fats. So that means these proteins and lipids, they have to be dispatched to other parts of the cell also. So that is done by endoplasmic reticulum as well because endoplasmic reticulum also acts as a mode of transport. 
but it is also done by the Golgi apparatus. So Golgi apparatus also helps to dispatch the materials which are produced in endoplasmic reticulum to various parts inside the cell or to the outside of the cell. So even it can take it outside the cell. It helps in storage of various cellular secretions, for example, enzymes, proteins, cellulose, etc. That means inside the cell, you have so many different components, you have so many different uh, organs. So everybody is performing its own function. So somewhere if there is some secretion, some enzymes are produced, some proteins are produced, some cellulose is produced, it helps to store all of them because all these things are needed by the cell for its survival, right? So there has to be some storage for them. For example, in our house also, there is a Suppose today you want to, in order to prepare dinner, you just need one kg of rice to prepare dinner for your entire family. But still, it, it, it happens that we keep around 5 kgs of rice at home. That's because so that we have backup. We have the backup of storage so that I will need tomorrow also the same thing. I have it at home. Similarly, inside the cell also, you should store things which are needed by the cell for its survival. So some of such things are enzymes, proteins and cellulose. Right? So Golgi apparatus helps in storing such cellular secretions. Synthesis of lysosomes. So Golgi apparatus helps in manufacturing the lysosomes. What are lysosomes? Lysosomes are another cell organelles which have their own specific function. So Golgi apparatus helps it produces lysosomes. So that is again an importance of Golgi apparatus. Now you you might be uh, curious curious to know what does these lysosomes do. Right. So now in the next slide, we will start talking about lysosomes. So I hope you are clear what the, uh, what are Golgi apparatus. It are, these are again network of vesicles and what are their significance? They help to store many things and they also help to dispatch things from endoplasmic reticulum to other parts inside the cell as well as outside the cell. Okay. So let us talk about lysosomes now. So what are lysosomes? Lysosomes are membrane bound vesicles containing variety of digestive enzymes. So again lysosomes are also membrane bound vesicles. So they are also some vessel like structure and inside those vessels you have a variety of digestive enzymes. Right. So let us see what it actually does. Before that let us see where are lysosomes. So these are like here is the lysosome. So this is lysosome. So it is a vessel containing a variety of digestive enzymes. So now we will see it, it, it looks somewhat like this. It is surrounded by a membrane and inside it has got so many digestive enzymes. So where is a lysosome located in an animal cell? So it is here. It is somewhere located here. Right? A vessel like structure. Again in plant cell. Presence of plant cell, presence of lysosomes in plant cells is actually disputed. What do I mean by disputed? That means most of the people say, most of the scientists have told that lysosomes are not present inside a plant cell. The, the functions of a lysosome is performed by a vacuole in a plant cell. That, that is the opinion of many of the scientists. On the other hand, there are certain scientists who say that lysosomes do exist in plant cells. So we are not very sure whether they exist or not. But even if they don't exist, so many of the places you will see that whenever you look at the diagram of a plant cells in your textbooks or over the net, you will see that uh, lysosomes are not labeled in most of the plant cells, right? So, so the purpose of a ly lysosome, whatever function a lysosome performs, that, per that function is performed by a vacuole in a plant cell, right? Okay, now let us look at the significance of lysosome. What purpose does it actually solve? It digests waste materials and worn out organelles. That's what, that's what is the purpose because it contains a variety of digestive enzymes. So these digestive enzymes helps to digest the materials which are not digested elsewhere in the cell. So it is capable of digesting any waste material or worn out organelles. Let us suppose if any of the cell organelles have been damaged. So it can uh, digest that damaged cell organelles as also. It provides defense against bacterial and viral infection because as I said it is it has got 
high a variety of digestive enzymes so it it doesn't allow the body to cause indigestion or it doesn't allow any kind of infection to spread it is the waste disposal system of the cell very true waste disposal system because all waste materials and all waste organelles are digested by it so it is known as the waste disposal system of the cell so you can call it as the dustbin of the cell during cell damage lysosomes burst and the enzymes digest their own cell let us suppose if something happened and the cell got damaged the entire cell got damaged under that situation many a times the lysosomes burst out so the membrane covering the lysosome that membrane itself bursts out and this lysosome is then digested by its own enzymes so are you getting the point lysosomes burst and its own enzymes which are present inside it only will digest it so that is why they are often known as the suicidal bags of the cell suicidal bags why suicidal bags because their death is digested by their own enzymes so that is why they are known as the suicidal bags of the cell what is suicide suicide means somebody causing his or her own death right so in case of lysosomes also whenever there is some damage in the cell the lysosome membrane burst out and due to the bursting of the lysosome membrane the enzymes itself eats up the entire lysosome the lysosomes which the enzymes which are present in the lysosome those enzymes only eat up the lysosome right so that means your own thing is only eating you up so that is why they are known as suicidal bags of the cell they are known as the waste disposal system of the cell as well as they are known as the suicidal bags of the cell so that means lysosomes are of great significance because they have got a variety of enzymes and where are lysosomes produced just now we saw in the previous slide that the golgi apparatus produces the lysosomes right it helps in the synthesis of lysosomes now this function which is performed by lysosome in case of a plant cell is performed by a vacuole thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thank you once again